Hello and welcome to Centurus Power BI Visualizations Intermediate. My name is Patrick Powers, trainer, data architect, and report developer with Centurus. Our first module is themes in the PBI environment. In this module, we'll take a tour of the product as well as the desktop environment, and we'll see how to configure a theme and what makes up a theme. The Power BI framework contains many different pieces, from our source data, to our data gateway, to the Power BI service for dashboards and subscriptions. For our developers, the Power BI desktop is where we'll be doing our data modeling and our report design, whether that's coming from an Excel analysis, an Azure data source, all of these can be used here in the Power BI desktop. Our mobile users can use the Power BI mobile app for view only access to our data. Within PBI Desktop, there are different stages of development, starting from importing and getting data to transforming and modeling it with data cleansing and calculated fields, putting that all together into visualizations for analysis. Then lastly, publishing and collaborating using the Power BI service. Here we see the Power BI desktop workspace. We'll take a closer look at each of these in a moment, but for now we can see this interface allows us to choose between things like our report view, our data view, and our model view. We can add new pages. And we have our different panes, which can all be adjusted and hidden as needed. The model view shows us the relationships between our tables. These are the relationships that were both auto-detected by Power BI, as well as being able to create our own as needed for our data sets. We can also use the model view to create additional diagrams. If we have tables that we are not using or that are grouped together, we can have diagrams that reflect this and show us just the subset we need. Our data view allows us to get better insight into the physical data itself. We can look at each table individually, and we can also use this view to create new columns and new tables, apply security, or do additional data transformation. The data view is a great place to understand and explore your data to get a better feel for when we go out to build reports. The report view is where we will build our different report pages. That may consist of a single visualization or multiple visualizations in a dashboard style. They can be filtered. They can have different visualization types. And again, we can have multiple pages of visualizations within the workbook itself. Regardless of the view that we're looking at, we will have ribbon groups. The ribbon groups are associated to the workflow, whether we're getting data, transforming data, modeling, visualizing and analyzing, or publishing and collaborating. Each of these will have task-specific buttons and ribbons. When we have different items selected within our fields or other panes, we'll get contextual tabs, tables, columns, and measures will each have their own set of options that you can access. When we have a visualization selected, we will have contextual tabs for those as well, formatting and drilling. As with all Microsoft products, we have a file menu. Here we can have things such as new, open, save, save as, but in addition to that, Here's where we'll also find the options and settings. We can look at things such as preview features, usage data, diagnostic data. All of this is available from the file menu. When we're building a report, we can use themes. Themes allow us to have a unified look and feel for our data and for the organization. Themes can be applied to a single dashboard, a single report page, or an entire workbook. Themes can be easily modified as that they are JSON-based files 
and they can be uploaded and used across the organization. You can have multiple JSON themes for each one of your departments or each different workbook. Let's take a look at how to go ahead and add a theme to our Power BI environment. First, let's take a look at what is actually in the theme file. Here we see a Centurus color theme.json, and as you can see, we've specified a name, and then simply the hex values for each of the different areas we want to change, whether it's the background, the foreground, the title, the header, all of these are simply changed within this JSON file, which is just a text file. We're using Notepad++ to show this. It doesn't require any special or fancy tools. Let's apply this theme to our environment. Here I've got Power BI Desktop open. And while we're here, we'll take a tour. Here are our different view options, whether it's the report view, the data view, or the model view, we can take a look at each one of these different sections. Now, obviously we haven't imported any data yet, so these two aren't showing us anything. Here's the ribbon, and again, this is a contextual ribbon for home. We see a different ribbon for insert, one for modeling, and one for view. The view ribbon is where we will find the themes. This is going to set the color scheme for all of the reports in this workbook. So we're going to click on this down arrow. And we're going to see a list of what is currently applied, other available themes. To add a theme, we can browse for themes on our local machine. We can look at the theme gallery, which contains themes that have been created by the Power BI community or I can customize the existing theme if I don't want to write my own JSON. Help is also available to learning how to create your own report theme. For now, we're going to browse for themes on the local machine. Here I have the Centurus color theme that we just saw in Notepad, and I'm going to open that up. That's all there is to it. Our new current theme is Centurus, and as you can see, these are the colors that will be applied to our different visualizations when we add things. We will get to adding a visualization in our next module. That's it for this module where we took a look at the PBI desktop environment, we configured and examined a theme, and we got ourselves ready to go to start building visualizations. Please tune in to the next module where we will start building out different things. We'll import some data and we'll set the properties and fields. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, tune in for the next one in the series. Thank you.